Hi, Phil Schoenberg, Fast Pitch Power. We've all been told at one time or another when things don't really go our way or are not really going our way, you keep your chin up, things are going to get better. If you're struggling in the eight-foot circle with command and speed, it may be time to keep your chin down. What do I mean by that? We have the good fortune of working with a great young athlete who came to us several months ago with several mechanical flaws and issues which she's been working very hard on and I'm happy to say she has now made tremendous strides and gains and is well on her way to becoming hopefully an NCAA level pitcher. Her speed has increased, her command has increased. She has one mechanical issue which she continues to struggle with, and this is something that we have seen many times before, especially in young developing pitchers who do not have the core strength and stability to keep their upper bodies back as they come exploding off the pitching rubber. When they're young and they're being told as they become a more aggressive pitcher with their lower bodies, stay back, stay back. We don't want pitchers coming forward and leaning and having mechanical breakdown and having that front side breakdown. We've talked about that many times before. But these young pitchers here stay back. And they understand what you're saying, but unfortunately in many cases they can't translate that into, into body movement because their core strength, their trunk strength, is not yet there in order to keep them stable as they become more aggressive in their lower body. So what do they do instead? In their mind, staying back is this. So they keep their chin up in the air, and that's what they interpret as staying back. Front side still breaking down. There's still premature lean in the pitch. They still have the struggles mechanically, but now they are adding to that a chin up in the air, which cre creates a tremendous amount of tension in the neck and shoulders, and that will translate into loss of command in the strike zone, which, as a result, will force that young pitcher, and now older advanced pitcher, to slow down in order to command the strike zone. So when I put my chin up in the air, generally speaking, my glove hand is going to follow. This is the rudder that steers my ship. I want to come off the pitching rubber in a solid power K position with my glove hand covering my target and ready to fire that ball down my throw zone, which I have created in a solid and stable fashion because I have the core strength to do that. As I'm developing, if I don't yet have that core strength and I am using or I am interpreting that core strength or that staying back to be my chin is up in the air, my glove hand is going to rise, my shoulder is going to drop, I am generally going to be uncontrollably high in the zone. And in order for me to bring the ball down into the zone, until I recognize that and make that correction, I'm going to have to slow down. So as a windmill pitcher, there are many things as you're developing that you need to look at to see what are my mechanical strengths, and even more importantly, what are my mechanical weaknesses, and what can I do to recognize them, and what can I do to correct them. Unfortunately, with the case of chin up, especially with an athlete who has then, by then, developed the core strength to stay back, but now has created the habit of putting her chin up in the air, this is something that is just going to have to be felt, recognized, and repetition of the right movements over and over and over again should over a period of time correct that. So be aware of what your body is doing and make those corrections. Put the time in to correct your mechanics so that you can become the best pitcher you could possibly be. Love to hear your comments. Don't know if you guys have seen this or experienced it yourself, but if you have, I'd love to hear about it. I'll talk to you next time.